There is an absolutely electric feeling in this building tonight. It is so incredible to see my old friends from The Daily Show here, uh, John Stewart, uh, John Oliver, Sam B, Ed Helms, Rob Corddry. We were all just talking backstage. None of us have aged a day. Uh, and just seeing those guys, just it, uh, it just really takes me back. I mean, I can still remember my last day at The Daily Show like it was yesterday. I, I can't put it into words, but I can put it into flashback. Is this, is this working? Can we do the effect, please, Jim? Is that the, that's the... Oh, my final day. So many memories, but there comes a time when a man has to do something completely different. The same character, half an hour later, half a block away. <laughs> Courage. Okay, just gotta pack up my lucky mug. Gotta pack up my... <laughs> my lucky box of free printer cartridges and... my lucky tangerine iBook, the... <laughs> sleekest, most stylish product Apple will ever make. There we go. <clears throat> hey, Steven. Oh! Yeah, Samantha B, I am. Yeah, I can't believe you're leaving right in the middle of the George W. Bush administration. <laughs> There's never going to be another president this good for comedy. I mean, <laughs> this guy does something ridiculous like at least once a month. You know, I know there's one thing for sure. There is no scenario in which I will ever say, God, I wish George W. Bush was president. <laughs> Fantastic, by the way. Is this my yogurt? I have not seen your yogurt. Oh, no, I have not seen okay. it. Mm. Oh. Hey, Steven. Hey, Rob hey. Corddry. Hey, Ed hey. Helms. Hey. What's up, you guys? Mm -hmm. uh, can't believe you're leaving us, Steven. I mean, it's crazy. It's like Beyonce leaving Destiny's Child. Like, we're never going to hear from her again. No. Well, th thanks for stopping by to say goodbye, you guys. No, actually, we came because we're fighting over which one of us gets your office. I just don't know how to choose. Oh, come on, man. I'm already ready to hang up my poster of my two favorite comedians, <laughs> Bill Cosby and Subway spokesman Jared Fogle. I know one thing, Rob. They will never let you down. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen my yogurt? Nope, nope, haven't seen it. Hello there, chums. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Hey. Woo. Oh, how about that? My buddies? Oh, hey. Yeah. Look, it's... That's right. It's me, Steve Carell. <laughs> beloved correspondent from The Daily Show in 2005. Why are you talking in that horrible British accent? That's a good question, because unlike you feeble-minded chuckle monkeys, I'm off to Hollywood to become a serious actor. But it is me, Steve Carell. And uh, I, I can prove that by saying something that only Steve Carell can say. I have so much body hair that there is an unbroken line of fur between my eyebrows and my ankles. Yeah, Classic that's Steve. Steve. That ends up Steve, yeah. yeah. That ends up. yeah. Has anyone seen my yogurt? Uh, no, no. Oh, there we are. But John, John, what, 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 are you, what are you doing in there? The show's about to start. We're doing another show today. Yes, John, it's a daily show. You have to do it every day. Why every day? You could cover everything you need to say about politics in half an hour on a Sunday night. Wait, people would watch that on a Sunday? I doubt it. <laughs> or, uh, a Wednesday at 10.30, 9.30 Central. Everybody shut up! Shut the f*** up! Wow. Shut your mouths! Shut up! Got it? Wow. John! Yes! Why are you eating our yogurts? Because right now we're a family. And if someone's in need, we're always there for each other. Yeah. Mm. Especially you, Steve Carell. Mm, that's... Thanks. <laughs> Jolly good. But I guess I'm realizing that families grow up. 
kids go off to college or star in a billion dollar film franchise about a hangover. <laughs> 1.42 billion. Or, or an Academy Award winning franchise about a hot tub time machine. That won an Academy Award? Well, it's still 2005, so you can't prove that it has not. I guess I'm realizing one day you'll all spread your wings and, and leave me, and all I'll have left is your yogurts. Five minutes to showtime, people. Oh, my God. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, quick. You, what? Uh, get me some footage of an old lady slipping on ice. Okay, one frozen granny fanny coming up, as Steve Carell always says. He always says that. All right. Uh, you guys, give me three puns about Donald Rumsfeld's penis. Huh. Okay. Uh, Schlongold Nutsfeld. Uh, 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 wrinkled Schaffsfeld. Prick Rattery of Prick Fence Ding Dong Rums Balls. Wow. Brilliant. <laughs> no wonder we win Emmys. <laughs> All right. Well, what about me, John? What do I do? Steven, I guess just arch your eyebrow or something makes people think you're smart. <laughs> Got it. But first, before we do anything, our traditional pre-show prayer. Hands in, everybody. Okay. Go, Go Liberals! Liberals! Stick around, everybody. All these people are on the show tonight. We'll find out how much of what we just said was real.